Thank you. North Korea has blown up parts of major roads leading to South Korea. Now, those roads were not in use, but this still marks a major break from the hope of reunification. CNN's Mike Valerio has you covered. Well, dramatic video shows the moment that North Korea demolished two road and railways, routes that used to link the two Koreas. So let's go to the video. And on the right hand side of the screen, you can see a blue sign that says goodbye to drivers from South Korea. And then we see the explosion, a cloud of debris blown into the sky. North Korea demolished this roadway and another one on the other side of the country, two of the last remaining road and railways linking the two countries. This video is certainly compelling, but what does it all mean? Well, it's certainly a physical reminder that a policy of peaceful reunification may be a thing of the past. In January, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said peaceful reunification should no longer be pursued. And monuments like this one, the arch of reunification in North Korea's capital, have presumably been blown up. Kim Jong-un said he was going to do it, and it no longer appears in satellite imagery. So this is also a movie we've seen before. In 2010, North Korea was upset about leaflets sent by balloon from South Korea, balloons like these, and the leaflets describe what life is like in the free world. A version of that balloon drama is still happening today. So back in 2020, to retaliate, North Korea blew up this building near the border, which was supposed to be a cooperation office between North and South Korea. So bottom line, tensions have been much worse before. South Korea has actually had islands shelled by North Korea and a battleship also sunk by North Korea that happened back in 2010. Tensions now are nowhere near that point. The two roadways that were demolished in this most recent episode, well, they haven't been used for years. And when South Korea retaliated, its gunfire stayed in South Korean territory. It did not reach the north. Mike Valerio, CNN, Seoul.